Ah, shit. Here we go again. Hello views, this is Mr. Doblux Indonesia, and welcome to another written record of evolution video. As the beginning of this video says. In today's transition period, we will be making the in-game economy system. That I've been studying for the past 5 months. Not only was it inspired by tycoon games or business simulator games, but also some games like LEGO Star Wars 3, CS, GEO, Tower Defense Simulator, and some RTS games. So, without further ado, let's get started. But before we begin. First suit yourself like a businessman, with the black suit, the white shirt, and, of course, the black tie. And put all your skill points in the charisma class. And we are going to start talking about how this in-game economy will be designed. First, we'll start by making a currency, or any item that is widely acceptable in exchange for goods and services. And ladies and gentlemen, in this meeting, after long, hard thinking, I have decided what our currency will be. It's Feltalm. With the symbol like this. Taking from the long lost land language word Feltalm, which means coins. Having established the currency, the next step is to determine where, or how to obtain it. And don't worry about this part, ladies, and gentlemen. I already know, specifically, what will be the source of income for this currency. Let me tell you, it has something to do with taking someone's life. And don't worry about that, since this is just a game. We are not taking someone else's life seriously. So, what do I mean by taking someone's life? simple. In this video game world, we just kill the players, and we will not be charged for our crimes. Because the player will respawn right away. That's the first one. And the second, or last one, had something to do with stealing someone's object. Yes, the flag. With the game mode right now has something to do with stealing the enemy's flag, and taking it to your base. I made the decision. To reward the flag stealer financially for stealing the enemy's flag. But now, we have a problem. With this much money you get from killing the players, or stealing the enemy's flag. What are you going to do with it? We don't want the rich player, to use their money to make a bag, right? So, I introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen. To the converter. Or a shop, if you are familiar with that. With this converter or shop players can buy anything they want. Weapons, tools, and defense. With that, ladies and gentlemen, it concludes our meeting today. In summary, these are the things we are going to implement in the in-game economy system. Now let's really begin developing. First, I start by adding a new value to the ladder stats, which later on will be used as our currency. Next, I add a function where, when players capture the enemy's flag, it will reward 250 cash. Then, I add a reward for killing the player using melee or ranged weapons. Both give 175 and 120 in order. At first, I was thinking of adding another reward, when the enemy died from the short-term defense mechanism. But unfortunately, it causes a ton of problems. To the point, where I lost the sense of time and space. So I decided to pause it for a while. After I increased the round timer to 7 minutes, I started building the converter slash shop area. And named it base station. Also with me as the keeper. I sell you buy. What would I like to buy? Duplicated it. And put it on the other side of the map. Next, we begin the fun part, which is making the GUI menu for the base station. After finding some of the tutorials I wanted, I added a hitbox to access the menu, wrote some lines of code, and began designing the GUI menu.
After the designing phase is done, I start adding the functions for giving the players their wanted weapons and tools. Come back any time. Then, I added a base upgrade function for the flag barrier and the short term defense mechanism. With a one time purchase only effect. After that, I began some play testing with an allowance of $5,000. Alright, while the base upgrade function works, the weapons, tools, and utilities function got into some problematic base functions. Nani? When the player buys the tools, weapons, or utilities, those tools, weapons, or utilities can't work functionally. But it's not the problem with the present me, it's the problem with the future me. After receiving the tutorial, I began rewriting all of the tutorial's codes. Followed by another day of using the remote events. And some minor bug fixing. Finally, it works. Next, we have to deal with the bridges again. No! After more bridge elaboration and some code writing, we got into some near-death experience problems because of how the bridge was designed. Having fixed a few bridges, I move on to a small addition that was brought about by stackable weapons in the player's backpack. In a short amount of time, I made a function to check if the player has some weapons like the Sol Launcher, XAW01, Glowing Rings, and Bamboo Runsing. Then removed one of those weapons after buying the Light Sword or Grapple Hook. And next, I duplicated the whole menu system and put it on the other side of the team. After some price changes, some special gift items changed for each team, some testing and changes, and adding a signboard, I released the updates. Thanks for watching.